Hey guys, we're finally back, doing Dragon Quest Builders 2. We're gonna see how the epilogue goes since we beat it last time. Now is the time to see exactly, well, what, what happens after you beat the game. Let's go on in. And also let's look at some of the new, the other uh, people's building things too. Oh, that's cool. Did they literally recreate that or is that just a really good edit? I can't tell. <laughs> That's a mansion, holy crap. I still haven't done roofs yet. Oh, that's a great way to do the farm. Oh, I really want to do that now too. I want to do everything. I want to do all the things. Jeez. Just get, get some ideas here. Hey, Cuppy. Potatoes, potato, I have returned. Well, hello, hello, Cuppy. We've been using the Discord that you set up, thank you very much. <laughs> My kitchen. That does not look like a kitchen, but okay. Anyway, enough of uh, looking at people's stuff. <laughs> Scarcy. Who's saying that? Hey, Scarcy! I assume it's him. Wake up! I said wake up! Oh, maybe it's... Wake up, you lady snore! Who is it? Nope, it's Malroth. Okay. <laughs> Finally! Up and at him, Scarcy! Today's a big day! We're not stuck in some madman's mine anymore! We made our own world! Now we can build whatever we want and nobody can stop us! <laughs> so, have you decided what we're gonna make first? Scarcy! <clears throat> Excuse me. I see you are finally awake, Mr. Sleepyhead. I thought you'd never wake up. But I'm glad you have, because I have work for you to attend to. Lutopia is in need of a new building. A Rogaya tower so tall it will tickle the heavens. It should be called Lulu's Obelisk. Ooh, that actually sounds like fun. Scarcy. Scarcy, please. Help. Help. Help me. Malra, it's very nice that you learned how to throw your voice, but I must ask you to stop it. These childish games of yours aren't impressing anyone. What are you talking about? I didn't... This way, please. Huh? Which, which way would that be? With ears like that, I wouldn't think you'd need to ask. Scarcy, maybe if you gave the echo flute a toot, it would be able to point us to the right direction. Nice thought. That reminds me, I, I very nearly forgot to mention something rather important. Scarcy, when you dropped in that vortex to rescue Mara, did you notice that you dropped all of your possessions? Well, it's a jolly good job I was there to pick everything up, isn't it? Try to be a little less careless in the future if you could. Oh, thank you. I actually do appreciate that. Oh, and I'm overloaded now. <laughs> That's hilarious how that just kind of exploded on me, though. <laughs> but, okay, I assume that's the uh, hermit, that hairy hermit that's calling out for us. All right. We're gonna have to get rid of a lot of crap here, aren't we? Uh, I'm not. I'm. I've been dreading that. Well, I look like a hero now, so that's nice. But I kind of want to mess around with more clothing options. Let's see. I got the falcon sword. Oh boy. Um, I think I'm just gonna get rid of the clod stone. Just get rid of it outright. We got so much of it, and it's not really used for much. Yeah, well, we'll bring it down to three, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're also going to get rid of all this dolomite. Like, look look how much light dolomite I have. I wish I had an easier way of getting rid of all of this, but whatever. So, give me one second while I clear my inventory, and then we're going to get to the creative fun. That's dolomite, baby! I'm going to save some, don't get me wrong, but I don't need this much. Marks, how you doing? 
Alright, and let's see. What Do we have a lot of... Yeah, we have a lot of Dark Dolomite as well. I also need to redo my flag at some point, but I'll probably save that for another time. You're doing good? Glad to hear it. I've had a lot of thoughts about how to be building up this place, and after we take care of this short story interlude here, what I'm planning to do is... Finish up Furrow Field area a little bit, just because, well, that's probably my favorite uh, area because it's the most well, I shouldn't say well done, uh, most progress is in there. And one of my first things I'm going to plan to do is make the place leading up to the, ta the tablet targets, I'm going to go ahead and make a little fancy throne-ish thing going up that way. <laughs> yeah. Translate this, I dare you. Oh, Cuppy's challenging marks again. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else? Anything else that I need to delete? <laughs> uh, I probably could get away with deleting some stuff. Yeah, I can get rid of the coal, iron. I have unlimited those. I don't think they're used for any individual recipes, so I think we're okay to do this. Um, hmm. Anything else? Keep all those. Oh, yeah, I want to use that sketch up at some point. Gotta beat up the water elephant again. A water elephant? Oh, another thing I gotta do. So I have the Sword of Kings and my Thunderbolt Blade. Hmm. Let's see, get rid of the wooden wool. We'll drop this, this. I'll keep these on me, I like these. Uh, except the antidote herb, I don't really need that on me. Poison doesn't bother me that much. But alright, okay, let's go ahead and get the echo flute going and see where we're supposed to go. I bet it's at the hermit's hideaway though. Not really telling me. Huh. Skazi, the sound of the flute just echoed back. Let's see where it leads. Come on, you. I'm sorry. Let's see where it leads. Come on, you two. I thought it was her, cause she moved. I love my little tunnel re renovations over here. Yeah, it's going to be going up that way. Are you guys going to say the exact same thing? Skasi, Malroth, Lulu. This way. Quick, quick, quickly. It's that voice again. How does it know our names? Come on, Skasi. Give the Echo Flute another blow and see if you can't narrow down where the voice might be coming from. You screaming binary. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to cheat our way up. I would have brought my Camaro with me, but I didn't think of it before I flew over, so... And I don't feel like backtracking just to get him. Well, here's Lulu's tower. <laughs> I mean, it's not hard to figure out, but... Alright, we'll try one more time. Oh, it's saying straight down. Very far away. Oh, so I didn't need to go all that way up, the, huh? I didn't mean to take the damage, but whatever. Alright, it's saying in there. Over here, please help, help me. It sounds like the voice is coming from inside these rocks! 
skittle skedaddle you messed up you messed and now your brain is a noodle oh i, mi I missed uh what he just said just try going no 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 i didn't i i my muscle memory made me think that was the hammer somewhere very nearby oh hello Phew, phew, phew. I thought I'd be stuck, stuck, stuck in here forever. No way. It can't be. It is. It's the Harry Hammett. Let's give him mini medals before we talk to him. Silly common is you're mad because mini medals seem to swap for my treasures. You don't seem to have any mini medals moment. Not to worry. Okay. This is what we've gotten. Moonbrook. Proc recipe, liquid metal slime recipe, we got the mystery mask, liquid metal armor and sword recipes, that's about it. Okay. Oh, 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 you must have been wondering how I wound up here. Believe me, I'd much rather prefer to have been revived somewhere much more convenient. Oh, well, what? What in the blazes are you doing here at all? I thought you stopped it. We all saw what Hargon did to you. All in good, good time, my young lady. Why we don't we get out of this crunch? Okay, first, abracadabra, ab ab whoa, I'm not doing that. Screw that. <laughs> that. That's just annoying to see me saying. Well, aren't you going to explain why you're still alive? Oh, it's all rather sim sim simple, really. You see, I'm a spectral abstraction of an existential energy. Oh, simple, guys. Just real simple. I can be transformed, but never destroyed. That made no sense whatsoever. How dare you just disappear like that, you horrid whore... Hoary, hideous hermit! Do you have any idea what you, your antics has put me through? My dear Lulu, you must have been very upset indeed. Allow me to comfort you. How about a hairy hug with a handsome hammer? Oh, that just sounds creepy. Ugh, I, I was hope, half hoping you were just another illusion, but it seems like you're the real thing. Indeed I am. It wasn't just the world you brought back to reality, you brought me back too. And as a reward for all your hard work, I have a little gift for you. An extra special recipe. I've been saving this one. And what is it? It's the super magical cool... Ulta Mallet! Oh, there it is. A hammer that's as hefty as it is holy. Can break horrendously hard blocks. Oh, oh, oh. A tremendous tool like that will be a great benefit for you as you break blocks and build buildings. I'm a little jealous of your new toy, Scarcy, but as long as you use it for the gory glory of my empire of evisceration, I suppose I'll let you keep it. He said nothing. <laughs> it certainly looks the part. Once you've made that magnificent mallet, work on Lulutopia as you... Can... I'm sorry, work on Lulutopia can begin in earnest. How many times do we have to go over this, Lulu? The island's gonna be my seat of world-dominating empire! Don't be ridiculous, Mara. Mara. You may have acquired the ability to build a few basic bits and bobs, but you seem nothing more than a thick-headed hooligan. Watch it, Missy. I used to be the master of destruction, remember? I'll swat you into oblivion if you're not careful. Aw, uh, now kiss. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I see you have no two in you two have no intention of breaking the habit of a lifetime. Well, Scarcy, this is where the real adventure begins. There's nothing to hold you back now. So get out there and build away. Don't ever stop. Scarcy, you're free to build whatever you like and go anywhere you please now. You don't need me to tag along anymore. But if you ever want to hang out, just use the residence register and give me a shout. Got that? All right. See you around. See you around, Scarcy. Shame she can't go fighting and then we could watch her get knocked out. <laughs> Free to build. The builder's tale may have come to an end, but now the real building has barely even begun. You're now free to create whatever you desire and turn the Isle of Awakening into your own, very own paradise. Woohoo! Also, hello there, Scarcy. What brings you to see little old me, eh? Oh, if that was time, I did something for you. Well, funny you should say that. You see, it just so happens I have got a good little piece. I'm sorry, I got a little piece of good news for you. I always knew that you and I had a special connection. That's creepy. I bet you're ch jumping at the bit to see what I have to say. Oh, we got an anonymous cheer. A little one bit, but that, thank you very much. <laughs> Normally, if I had an alert, if if PS4 had the alert system, 
uh, it would actually give you a, an alert and all, but unfortunately we don't. So just imagine that happened. <laughs> And it was you all along. It was <laughs> you could have you held us in suspense a little, Cuppy, but that's okay. <laughs> it's a long story, so sit down and make yourself comfortable. I hope you've got your listening cap on. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, guys, time for story time. You don't seem very ready to me. I thought you'd be uh, happy to hear my story. Maybe I could tell it to Mara later if I can get him to sit still. Now where was I? Ah, yes. I think there's something about a new way to get items. Still, it's not as interesting as what I wanted to tell you. Anyway, seeing as you've completed 30 tablet targets now, I bet you've built a healthy amount of gratitude from the islanders. I think it's about time you cashed in on all that goodwill. How will I let you swap that gratitude for items? It'd be a shame not to see you put it to good use. I expect you'll save on a lot of legwork required to gather materials, too. Here's what you do first. Whip out your Buildopedia and open it to the items chapter. From there, you can check on how much each item costs by pressing the triangle button. And more, more bits. And this is what uh, Marsh was telling me about with all the bit uh, gratitude farming, I guess. <laughs> That's just a simple case of making the exchange. I expect you'll have an easier time building your amazing creations from here on out. Do -do -do -do. That's the noise, by the way, that plays for whenever I have a bit, my bit alerts going. I can't go that high, so sorry. But okay, we're all happy and healthy. Well, wait, would it be fair if I got admin on Discord since you made it? Uh, I'm not comfortable with doing all that just yet, really. I, I like to be the one in control for them. I told you before you made it that I have control issues, really. <laughs> That's why whenever it comes to stuff like that, I like to do that. You know, I like to be the one making it or in control and such. That said, if there's like a section you want to control, I could do that. You know, like maybe like you want to, maybe you want it your own um, channel or something. You did make it. You can have your own channel that you can have a uh, final say on and all that, and I'll give you control over that. I think it's a pretty decent compromise anyway. I mean, I appreciate that you made it and all. It's just I, I wasn't really ready for it, but I have it now. So I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the green gardens first, because that's where we're going to really make all the creation. Now, what I want to do... Oh, look at that fog. That fog looks great over there, actually. I kind of like it. But anyway, uh, some of my plans here. Well... Our farms are doing great. There's no doubt about that. I think what we're going to do next is start building upwards here. We're going to start getting more rooms and such, personal rooms and whatnot. I'm probably going to destroy, uh, what's her name, Rosie's room here, because I'm probably going to redo all of this. And I'm probably going to destroy that stairway eventually and just kind of deal with it in a different way. I got a lot of options here. But first things first, time to upgrade. Also, I'll probably be asking everybody for if there's any side quests to go on here. Remembers everything he he could make in Malhalla. Because I remember you guys saying like, things like, okay, you can you can recruit the old lady from the prison area somehow. Oh, what what are those? I think I planted those a while ago. I just don't remember them. Huh. Yeah, I, okay, I definitely planted these. So these are just different types of flowers. All right, all right. Also, the music is just all over the place. All right, yeah, I have a lot of work to do that it's a little overwhelming. But the first thing I'm going to do is get my Chimera with me, because he is my buddy. Residents can now move between the Isle of Awakening and their home island? Oh! That's kind of cool. I should make rooms for everybody, though. Oh, hey! So they these guys can come over. Oh, that's cool, and here's how you get Chance. Surge and Jewels, the King. Hmm. But yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, I want to be able to grab uh, what's their names. Wait. 
Oh, those are randoms. I want to be able to see if I can grab others, you know, from places, too. Alright. Anyway. Let's go ahead and grab Pocus. No, no not Pocus. I thought it was Chica. Well, it doesn't matter which Chimera. I, I just want to choose any. So, we're going to go ahead and add you to my party. Bomb Room is still amazing. I also have to recruit some new monsters. <laughs> Sheepy, Mary, Lamb Chop, and ba a few. Yeah, okay, we got you guys. These guys are over here. Smash is over there. Meowth, Biz Mr. Business. Yeah, Lulu's over here. Oh, there's where Chica is with Gallium and all that. Okay, well, we got the two main people I wanted to bring with me. Alright, one thing I gotta do is basically clear this up. So, let's go ahead... Grab all the water out. And then... Oh, hello! What we're going to do is clean this all up. No, 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 no. I keep thinking I have my hammer already equipped at times. Alright, that's going to get in the way a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, we want to clear this up. You should get the saber cat. All right, feel free to tell me where it is, where it's at. For the moment, though, I am going to just clean up first. All right, let's see about here. There you go. Soggy Sky Ray, boss enemy. Okay. I'm also grabbing the Arid Earth so I could continue placing these down. Because I'm going to make most of this into Arid Earth. I, I, I like the Arid Earth look. I, I could always replace it later, you know? Alright, I don't want to break the blue part, so we're just going to go like this. Oh, right. I forget that it goes up and above, too. That was my bad, really, though. Where's my slime wall? Well, I do need the blue, and I need my slime wall, which is right there. There you go. Okay, we'll put slime wall. We'll put the blue here and slime wall right there. And then the rest of it doesn't matter, so. But yeah, we're going to be transforming this field into probably personal houses, maybe. Like, we already got ourselves the the farmer's, uh, whatever. We got the farmer's sleeping quarters or whatever. I can't remember the exact name, but it, yeah, I think it's like a bunk or something. So we're going to expand on that eventually. I also got stuff under there that I gotta eventually fix too, but that's okay. But I'm thinking this is gonna be all living quarters up here, and we'll probably do personal rooms, make it all nice and happy. Let's also make this even. Alright, last thing I gotta go ahead and clean up is here. This part's not as bad, though, because I don't think I have anything underneath it. But yeah, we could... Things we have to do. We can recruit some monsters. We can... I think I got all the animals already. We can clean up. All the fun stuff.
Okay, that's good. We're going to fill it all up nice and tidy. I just want to get things level so when I get back to doing this, uh, we'll be all happy and healthy and all that. What I think I'll do is, there's going to be some off-stream stuff I do, like setting up foundations and whatnot eventually is going to be completely off-stream. I'm just starting this now because it's something in mind. But for anything that's kind of fun to do on, st on stream, as, or seems to be fun on stream, I'll be definitely doing. But now that we've finished the main stuff, I can at least uh, do some things off stream and kind of expedite what we are doing. So you guys aren't always watching me replace things and then redo them and then replace and redo them again. Sort of like this right, right now, uh, you'll be seeing less of this eventually. Like, I'll probably fill in that gap off-stream and whatnot. 100 room limit. Hmm. Where do I check to see my room limit? Like, where my, uh, how many rooms I have so far? Three, oh, there it is. 33 of 100 so far. Alright. In that case, I, anyone that could share rooms is basically what's gonna happen. Rosie definitely deserves her own room, though. All right, uh, now that I did that, I'm going to make this fancier, I think. I just got to figure out how I want to do that. We got to find a nice turf for this. I'll probably get rid of some of these bridges because they don't really need to be here. I still like my little rainbow sink thing here. Let's see, we just got a Camaras over there. We can go through the mountain. There's a lot of options we have for us. I'll probably be like leveling the uh, the river fields over there. A lot of different things here. But, all right. Uh, first, let me go ahead and grab Malroth because Malroth's the best fighter. Yes, yes, greetings to you too, but please get out of my way. I can make that. I can make a bunch of different things. Alright, I need to find Ori Calcum. That's going to be tough to do. Hmm. And I can make a Sword of Kings? I already have one, though. So, yeah, uh... I gotta figure out where Ori Calcum is. Any information on that will be helpful. Let me go ahead and just do this. May as well make this uniform. And, yes, yes, great. Alright, Malroth joining me. Let's go ahead to that spot, though, for the, with the Saber Cat and see if we can get it. I think it's, if I remember right, it... The Buggy Buggy? Oh! Hey, it made it! But yeah, we'll go to the dock and... Check our mail first. Let's see, from Captain Whitebones. Oh! Hello, Builder. How's tricks? The whole crew of the Ark are doing great. Aris, Splottle, and Granville send their regards. However, I'll wait for you to wait with bone-shaking news. After we escaped from Alhalla, the Ark got weds in that pesky world between worlds. Seems we're stuck here for the foreseeable. I don't even know if this letter will reach you. Forsakenly yours, Captain Whitebones. Hmm. Is that something we could do something about? Hey, want to go to the World Between Worlds, please? Thanks. Ahoy! Yes, we managed to do it. Oh, sorry. Germs out! Yay! Me and Lulu were from the real world. Oh! All the other cabin boys and girls were just illusions. But now this island ain't illusion no more, right? I'll need more crowns to redraw me sea maps if it is. If it wasn't for you, Scarcy, I'd be six leagues under. If you, if you catch me, Driftwood, I'll continue to serve as your ferryman as long as you have me. If, if there's ever anywhere you want to go, just come and charge me up. Yarr! All right. I've been thinking a compass builder like you want to get off this pokey little island. Which just so happens I eyed an uncharted region of the eleven seas with an island floating in it. It's strange. New land called Buildertopia. I marked it on a chart with a crown if you'd like to take a look. 
Buildertopia? Huh. We also got other islands to unlock, too. Let's go unlock everything. So we got Coral K. Defiled Isle. That, that, that sounds a little bad. And Unholy Helm. Helm. Home? Hmm. Explorer Extraordinaire. I just, that's the trophy you guys cannot see. Alright, so we got several places we can go. You say Soggy Scray is where I can find the uh, Saber Tiger. Scary. I'll tell you what, I'm going to check that out first. At least fight one. There's only one per island. And then after that, we're going to go explore the new other islands. Let's do it. We got our best travel partners with us already. Don't get me wrong. Dougie was pretty good, though, for helping us out for a while. But now is the time where we really need the big heavy guns, and that's going to be Malroff. Well, maybe not in this world. This world's probably pretty easy. The monsters just don't attack very well. Holiday. Aw, nice ship. Crumble done. <laughs> Dinner time. <laughs> like, hey, uh, you don't need to be frying there. Bear da. Big feast. Oh, look at all these. These look so much nicer. <laughs> Alright, anyway. We already got most of the things. We just gotta go find ourselves that saber tiger. Alright, for speed. Saber Cub is key. Double jump, go! Alright, so we're just going to explore around for them. I don't need wheat, that's for sure. I just got to figure out where, what biome is the Saber Tiger going to be usually hiding at. Also, nice flowers. I don't really care about the chickens. Yeah, yeah, you're baboons, we know. I also gotta figure out which monster... Oh, you know what? While I'm here. Aubergettes are... pretty damn handy. I don't have a lot of them. I think that's bu uh, builder... best builder and whatever things... Yeah. I don't think uh, saber tigers are going to be in jungle regions. I think they're in mountainous, if I had to guess. Hmm. Also, I hate to do this, guys, but give me one quick second. I have to take care of something off stream. So I'm probably going to see if I could play an ad real quick. Let's find out here. There we go. Uh, alright. So give me one second, guys, and I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes you gotta like, you just gotta take care of things real quick, you know. <laughs> all right, let me make sure all my controls are good. Here we go. So we got We're on just to look out for a giant saber cub tiger, not a saber cub. I keep calling it saber cub. Hmm. You know what? Just for sight reasons. Let's go with the Chimera now. Like, for speed, you definitely want my... The Saber Cub is probably better, but for sights and such, definitely going to go with good old Chimera here. Uh, I think I said th the same thing twice there. My bad. Well, I do hope everyone had a great Christmas. I know I did stream on Christmas, but not everyone was up for that, since I only did it at night. I also want to befriend the robots, too. That'd be fun. And also, I want to see where am I going to find, if I can find, the other people, though. The, uh, anyone else in the crowd, you know? Let's see. Hmm. Probably not going to be in the spoiled soil area. Times like these, I wish Marx was still around, but I think he had a. He, he's kind of like busy or something. <laughs> Marx or Ugly Monster Phase would be great help. Oh, it looks like we also could level up still. They seem to know, though, like, biomes and whatnot, and I only have my guesses at best. I also don't know if I should be going too high, because I don't know if that'll cause an issue. Alright, and now we're back where we started. Map. Let's take a look-see. You know, let's warp there, get a different cover of the ground, and go from there. Again, we're not going to ham on this side. We just want to find a saber tiger, fight it, and go from there. All right, we want to go east and south. You know, watch me having... I probably, like, already passed it or something, and it's just like... Like, what the hell are you doing? And I didn't notice it. I am pretty bad at directions as it is, so... Hell, the first time I actually... I... The first time I had jury duty, and uh, I was like... This is bef just before we got our, myself a GPS and all that. And I was, like, still a new, pretty new driver. I only turned... I just had turned, like, 18 at the time. And... Holy crap. Trying to drive there was ridiculous, because... It was in this very busy metro metropolis area where, I, where I'm from, like the suburbs. So getting there was hellish traffic. There was just... Ugh, I'm trying to see what else was there. Uh, every There's so many one ways. So if you took one wrong turn, you got had to go all the way around. And you had to do this all in the traffic. I was freaking out thinking, like, I'm going to go to jail now because I can't make it on time. Oh no, what's going to happen? And... My sister's on the phone with me, even though she's, uh, she was at work at the time and just going like, you're not going to jail over this. You, as long as you show up, you're fine. But I'm just going, no, they're going to, they're going to give me, they're going to arrest me. And, they, and I'm never going, I'm never going to be able to drive again. Or I'm going to go to jail because I didn't make it to jury duty on time. No. And just all, all this, I was panicking, like, and I was also screaming at her at the same time. Like I was like, where the fuck am I? What is this? I don't get it. She did not deserve that at all. But she was trying to help. And she was busy at work. And every time she put me on hold, I just felt like, no. Uh, I apologize later. But it was ridiculous. So, in short, directions, I am very bad with them. And I'm so happy to have a GPS now. <laughs> I wonder if the saber tiger is going to be 
gonna be faster than uh, the Saber Cub. You would think so, because I bet you, if I had to guess, I mean, I bet the Saber Cub is has the, keeps the ju double jump, so it's better vertically, but the but the Saber Tiger probably has the speed. If I had to guess. Alright, we see an orc up ahead. I guess I'll fight him. Hmm. First things first. Okay, get rid of you, and now... Super Strong Monster! I wonder if the Falcon Sword's still better in this case. Maybe when I level up higher, it will be. Yeah, right now it's not really strong. It's just kind of there. It's only doing like one damage each. Alright, we got some wheat seeds out of that. Not that we needed wheat. Mainly, that was just like, hey, there's a boss monster, we may as well kill it. Yeah, yeah, there's a chicken. I don't care, Malroth, don't worry. Hmm. I think this is about the point where I'm going to need the Chimera. Uh, okay. Map. Northwest is okay, just don't go too far south. Got it. So, this way. Here, tiger, tiger, tiger. <laughs> I, d I gotta tell you, I do feel a little out of practice with uh, this at the moment, because it's been a little bit now. We skipped, after we beat the game uh, last Saturday, I ended up skipping it. Uh, skipping it the next day on Sunday, mostly because I also had things to do just before the holidays started. Also, I'm going backwards here just to uncover more of the map here. But yeah, after this, we're going to go ahead and explore the other side islands, too. All right, and I've been over there. Uh, that said about, about me with being bad at directions and all, like, repetition will help, though, for me. So after a while, yes, I can be okay at directions, but I only know it somewhat. If, you have, if I have to take alternatives is when I get thrown off a bit. Like, oh, road close, use detour, and then the detours aren't very detailed, so then I get, it's like I get lost again. <laughs> like, this never-changing cha island, I would never really be able to get used to. But, you know what, at least... At least, uh, we have things to help us with travel here now. Come on, Tiger, where are you? That's it. I will tell you, it, it kind of is relaxing just to be kind of like, ah, flying in the skies, looking around, not have to worry. You know, after, you know, once the stream's over and all that, I might go off stream and play some of this and just kind of like do some fun traveling stuff. I saved, I did not do anything since we beat the game last time because I wanted to make sure anything new that came up, which it did, would be caught on stream. Alright, uh, is there anything else on this side? Very little, so I'm going to keep going in this direction now. Also, they always seem to have, all these islands always seem to have at least one spot where there's a, just like a pit of water. Yeah, that's my saber cub, but we want the saber tiger. 
I wonder if this is the only place where you can find them, because I'd love to be able to find them, like, regularly. Oh, shit, speaking of which. Do I have my monster munchies? Yes, I do. I want to take them out. Let me go ahead and drop off my excess crap and take out the monster munchies. I don't know if they need to be in my inventory in order for me to tame things, but just in case, it feels like a good idea, you know? I don't want to find the tiger and then finally kill it and then realize I didn't even have a chance to, to tame one. It would be also cool if we had an item that let us befriend them easier. Alright, we're getting close to where I already explored, so I'm just going to try to keep going to unexplored areas. Usually bosses are in open fields, so they're not going to be really in tree area, treed up forest and whatnot. I was going to call it the tree areas. Can I befriend monsters maybe like in Furrow Field or something or in Crumble Dun and whatnot? That'd be interesting. I doubt I can befriend ones that I take home with me. They're probably just the story ones only. That's something though I did note that in every single chapter you always got to befriend at least one monster. Showing that, you know, hey, not all monsters are bad and I love that. You had Wrigley in Furrow Field. You had Goldie Rocks in Crumble Dun. What did we have in Moonbrook, actually? I guess Malra technically? So maybe that was actually the exception then, huh? Now, yeah, I think that, no, we didn't befriend a monster in Moonbrook. I was wrong. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, that's just gonna go back, so let's not go back. So that said, I am going to go on the Saber Cub because he's faster. Oh, jeez. Stupid slugs. Scared the crap out of me. We're looking for them tigers. Uh, I think I'm probably in the radius of where I could probably just use the Chimera. I am liking the, the speed, though, I have here. A little bit more. Aha! All right. Let's do this. It's not going to be doing much damage to us because we're way over leveled. I just hate that it keeps backing up like that. I don't even care. Go ahead and charge at me. You're you're doing like no damage to me, so whatever. Be my friend. Yes. Great Saber Cat, be my friend. Poor Saber Cub, you're basically going to be replaced a little bit. But that's okay. You've been great. You know, you're not that different. You have the double jump, but it's definitely higher. Hmm. How's the speed? Seems comparable. Alright, there's less height, but I think the speed is about the same. The damage is probably better, though. But yeah, let's to get a range. Alright, almost as high as that that one sticking out block. That's definitely higher. Hang on. Speed is the same. Okay. Also, let's check out the damage. Seems similar. A little faster, that's all it is. A little faster in damaging, but it's about the same damage. 
All right. Well, there's no harm in it. That's for sure. So if we, it's mainly for height. If you go, you know, if anyone else is trying to get certain monsters and all that, the only difference between the two is the height and jump. And I don't think it's that important. But we got it, and that matters. So let's go exploring now. I'm gonna keep uh, the saber cub with us though. Yep, we're gonna go back to the Isle of Awakening and travel to a, a new island that we haven't explored yet. <sighs> Much better. All right, you got the ogre house. Some of these I've seen. Yeah, this is a repeat of things we've seen. But we recruited a new monster. We'll see about recruiting more at the new newer little islands too. Not, not, not you. Where are you be old and naked to now? Well, we got Buildertopia, which I assume is where you meet up with others or something. I wanted to check out those first, but you know what? Let's go check it out. Buildertopia's place where you're free to build absolutely whatever you want. Once you choose the size and type of the island, I'll scour the 11 seas for that land that fits that description. I can search for islands as many times as you like, but I'm sure you're camping at the jib to visit one right now. Tell me what kind of island you want, and I check me charts. Huh. Change your mind. In that case, I'll forget your request, all right? I'll wait on getting information on that. I guess that'll be like our extra island or something. Or is it something where you build whatever you like, but then it doesn't save? Which doesn't make sense to me. Let's check out the regular arms first. Yeah. But I gotta figure that out. Let's drink a little bit of water. The good news is, though, I don't have as many voices I have to worry about now. Uh, though I do like doing them. Capital Bridge, Night Garden, looks, looks good. Bridge Village, not bad. I think that looks like Crumble Done, though. And the train we've seen, work in progress, for the veterans. <laughs> That's cute. All right, New Island, we've got a scavenger hunt to be doing. And hopefully new monsters. I have seven of those things, the monster munchies too, so. Well, first things first, let's see what is on the list. First things first, check off the seaside sand. I like how clearly you said that yaha despite being underwater. All right, anything over here? Nope. Let's do it. Oop. Got stony sand. I'm sure regular sand is going to be on here too. That's still seaside. Seaweed stacks. Alright. Yay indeed. Do we get... It's just kelp. Okay. We, we've seen plenty of kelp. Also, we need those shells for some sort of recipe. I don't remember which one, but there is one. So I'll probably fight some of those guys. That's dark dolomite. Don't need it. I like how this is like almost all islands, though. It looks, it looks good. Hey, we do have some islands on our Island of Awakening, too. That could be kind of fun. Make a little island uh, spot or something. Well, that tree is probably one. Coconut tree. Ooh, we can get coconuts. Maybe. And a begonia. 
Mm, this just does that. And that just gives me wood. Okay. Get rid of you. And you. Uh, none of those matter. Is this like a giant square? Alright, that still just only gives me wood. I was hoping that it would give me something else. I also have to got him. I gotta make that hammer too, so maybe the Ori Calcum will be lingering around here. I'll take that. Oh, there's gonna be coral? Oh, that's gonna be cool. And all those different types of. Are those trees? I'm looking at the scavenger hunt. And a gold golem. Wanna be our friend? How much damage? 15? Alright, you're reasonable enough to be by fought. Alright, you know what? Uh, oh, I don't have any strength ones, do I? There we go. And I don't have my flag, so I can't improve my comrades here. Yeah, dodging! That probably would have hurt. Oh, that did hurt a little. Alright, this is why Malroth's better than Dougie. Extra damage! Yeah, yeah, you keep doing that, sir. Eh, can't always get out of the way. Almost got him. Be our friend? Oh, yes! Gold Golem! Best bud, Gold Golem. Also, we can learn how to make a silver shield, not that it matters much. Cool! Multiple golems! Now I'm gonna be smashing shit everywhere too! Oh, you're awesome! Look at that! We're doing great on our monster uh, scavenger hunts, at least. Let's see, we also gotta find a clam. I'm just go worrying about the land first. Oh wait, you can't attack that? There you go. I'm worrying about the land first, and then we're going to explore the water, which is where I assume a lot of these stuff's going to be. Ooh, what do you have? Oh, they have fish! Okay, that'll be good for general recipes. Also, I do remember my last sweeping declaration. If this game gets complete crossplay, I will absolutely uh, buy the DLC. Hell, I'll even get PS Plus. <laughs> I don't have that. You know, that said, I was also thinking, like, would you guys be interested in maybe seeing a Dragon Quest uh, Heroes playthrough sometime? I've already beaten both of them, but I was curious if anyone actually would like to see it, too. Also, drink that. You don't have to answer now, either. Like, if you guys are seeing this on YouTube sometime later, feel free to leave a comment at any time. I'm not planning on doing them anytime soon. Really, I have other games I want to do first. But I did want to at least, you know, offer the idea out. It was something I was considering, because I wouldn't mind going back and playing that. Same with Dragon Quest Builders 1, but... It feels weird to be going backwards for that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing that, just for like the story only, like not no building project projects, just kind of seeing where the original game came from, you know. I honestly considered go doing that before this one, but I really wanted to play this sooner rather than later. All right, I'm out of uh, energy, and I think I hit full circle. 
Yes, I did. Okay, so now we gotta go explore the inners here. Okay, this is where you come in. Yellow coral colony. Hmm. What does it drop? Yellow coral colony. Okay. Me protect you. You do that. That's very sweet of you, actually. I like how he just kind of jumped up like that and like... Like, I got it. Oh, we got seaweed. Purple coral. Hard to see. White. I wonder what they do exactly. Well, I'll be smashing them all once I once I finish. Can you can you move? Scallywinkle. Ah, I drink that underwater. Sea slime shell. I know I'm starting to. Can I take the bubble? There you go. Clamshell. Those will be useful for underwater stuff. Oh, wait, wait, what did I... There we go. Drift lumber. And drift wood. There's a difference, apparently. I'm sure there's more coral to be taken off the list here. Hit the wrong button. Hmm. Alright, looks like that's done. Well, we got plenty of awesome looking stuff here. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I saw a check. Well, here's what I'm going to do for air. Let's make an air pocket if we can. Yes. Nice. Air pockets are great. Okay. Going in. And speaking of smashy smashy. Well, smashy smashy. This is gonna totally overload my 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 pack though. Actually, I think it'd be faster if I used him. There you go. Also, can you get the air you can't get the air bubble as the golem, okay. The air bubble, excuse me. I wonder if, though, you can craft anything with these. They might be just decoration in general. Ugh, 3D grabbing is annoying. It does kind of remind me of Malhalla a little bit. When we were in the bloodstream of the eyeballs and such. Alright. Take that. That. That's just kelp. Don't need the kelp. Ow. Free air, though. Let's take a clam. Oh, they're just rocks. Darn it. Alright, so we still have other colors to be checking off. We got purple. By the way, that's the brand of mattress I got. My new mattress. It feels comfortable, but I haven't been able to really sleep on it yet because my room's not really set up. But so far it seems like I just kind of like laid on it a little, just a little bit, and it seemed okay. Okay, we got you. 
Got the blue. Oh, wait, and you got that. Okay. I don't, again, I don't know what there is to be done with coral, but I'll definitely try something. Also, let's make another air pocket. There you go. Got you. Anything else to be checked off here? I think we're okay. I don't want to play the flute yet. I want to make another... Oh, jeez, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'm now paralyzed for a bit. That doesn't cure paralyzed. <laughs> Only thing I hate about doing underwater stuff is that it's so slow. Wait, what? Oh, that was talk. Never mind. I thought that was saying check mark off or something. Uh, no and no. Nope, neither of these are checks. I'm glad that they offer to help, but they're too slow. My companions here. Alright, anything else? By the way, I am normally afraid of underwater stuff, but this is pretty clear water, so I'm okay with it. It's when you go into the dark deep stuff, like that one time where I decided to explore a little bit in the dark deep, that I was like, oh, this is creepy. Creepy. I gotta make an air pocket, or I'm gonna, well, I'm starting to start drowning, but let's go ahead and make this air pocket now. Okay. Sorry for the lot of drifting of uh, imaging here. So I know that can make people feel a little sick at times. I know it does for me at times. Jeez. Let's go ahead and just smashy smashy now since none of these are part of it. Oh, that thing wants to paralyze me. Bad. I don't. I didn't see it drop anything. Oof. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? I'm making sure. I'm making sure my mic's on too. By the way, I'd hate to be talking this whole time just to myself. Also, I think I just increased the volume on my end. You guys can't hear it. I don't think, but I can hear it. Wait. Check. Capsize crate. Anything else? I don't, again, I don't want to use the flute yet. Holy shit. Okay, this is where it's in, getting in the creepy territory for me. But we got air bubbles. Thank you. Creepy as fuck. We are so deep under. Are, is the saber tiger pretty fast here? Faster than me. Okay, we got the broken barrel. We only need black and green coral. Oh, hey, SCP. Sometimes do you think... Do you think how did I get in the situation I'm in? Yeah. This... This is terrifying me a little bit. Not too badly. But it's like just that starting feeling of dread. Anyway, hell yeah. We got our black coral here. And the co big coral stack, I think is what they call it or whatever. Colony, that's it. Also, hey, blue crabs. Or maybe that's just the filter of the water, underwater here. <laughs> Rubies! And that was part of our... Yes! Naughty nightlight. Oh. Okay. But hey, rubies! Not boobies, rubies. I know they sound the same, but they aren't. Though, hey, boobies are kind of cool, too. <laughs> but that's not the point of this right now. <laughs> anyway. 
we get ourselves those dem rubies. And what's the yellow? Gold? <laughs> I'm only making some jokes. Please don't take them too seriously, though. Okay, get my air. Oxygen is included here. All right, black coral colony. Just gold, right? I think we technically could use some gold, so it's not too big of a deal. Because we don't have unlimited gold yet. Though we will if we get finished this scavenger hunt. Uh, we also need to have unlimited sand, which is more for, for glass, I guess. But okay. Um, well now we need just the white coral and... No, sorry, not white. Green coral, and then we're done with both. Get another breath. You know, I don't think air bubbles really work this way if you're underwater. Like, you're more than likely to end up sucking a little bit of water by doing that and then starting to drown yourself. That's what I believe what would actually happen. I'm not sure if that's true. Like, yeah, you might get some air, but you're more likely to choke on some water, you know? Man, if there's someone that... a scientist that knows about this, feel free to chime in, man. But how are you, SCP? Did you have a nice Christmas or otherwise general holidays or so? In case you don't celebrate anything. I hope it all went... I hope at least, you know, you had a, maybe a nice day off or something. Alright, and I think this is the circling point, right? Eh, maybe not. I do want to kill these guys, though. Just change air with Malroth? Oh, jeez. Oh, it seems the gold golem goes for, like, a taunt or something. That's actually pretty cool. I, I have heard that, yeah, you can exchange your own air with somebody else, but it doesn't... You're, when you breathe out, you are breathing out uh, some carbon dioxide, which you really can't get much air from. You are getting some oxygen out, too. Alright, let's go ahead and use this to go ahead and just travel through. Well, at least we got air. Also, what, what am I doing? Look what I'm doing. I'm doing this like with my little measly hammer when I have a friggin' golem. Let's keep going. I'm getting that smashing itch again. What are we gonna name this one? Our, our regular golem is Smash. This one's a gold one. I don't want to name it Goldie Rocks though. We already have a Goldie Rocks. We need someone else. Damn. How far is this? Well, I guess I can have an underground tunnel. Fabio. I'd be okay with Fabio. I mean, if another, unless another name comes to mind, I'm okay with it, though. I'm right now, I'm just kind of amused. I'm guessing... Ah! There's the water. I was waiting for a wall of water to come at us. Darn. I, part of me kind of like wants to see like a, a wall of water just chasing us and we have to like try to escape it. There's just something cool about that. But okay. Also, the problem with golems is that they, not only do they make a lot of noise, but they also get in the way of your camera. <laughs> All right, back to underwater. Camera, thank you. We still need the green ones. Yeah, 
Yeah, Saber Cub's definitely faster than me. Underwater, I mean. Maybe we gotta find other holes next. Let me go above water, or at least higher up, and then I'm gonna use the flute. By the way, I still cannot play Subnautica. I just, I just can't. <laughs> that, that would freak me the fuck out. Oh, you can run underwater. Not very well, but you can. I already know the general story of Subnautica too, so... Aha! Infant supply of sand is now available. And some green coral too. Infinite gold! Oh yeah, we good now. We rich, bitch. All we got left now really is just to see if there's any other new monsters. I I think that was probably it though. We got that scavenger hunt done pretty fast. Game. There we go. Is this the one that I've done already or is this the one... A newer one, like a newer hole. I think it's... Yeah, I think that's the same. Also, let me go grab an air pocket, uh, I mean, bubble. I always... You know, well, what did you do these days? Uh, if you mean on stream lately, we beat the main story of this, which you saw, I think, or at least saw, got, saw most of it. We have been playing Ogre Battle 64, and I beat... In Don't Starve Together, I beat uh, the Deer Clops, uh, the, the extra hard Mafia Clops, I should say. Ah, I was just a little too slow. Okay, get the bubble. Is there any more rubies? Uh, this looks like a no. I think I've probably explored all this. As mentioned, I get I get lost too easily. Oh, on Christmas. Um, I did stream some Don't Start Together on Christmas at night, but I did a. Uh, but for the most part, with family and such, they woke me up a little too early. Because well, I woke up too early actually. They didn't wake me up. Um. Because I had worked the previous night really late as usual. I got home around like 4 a.m. And I woke up around 11. But I didn't go to sleep at... Like, it's not like I got to sleep at like 4. I... I was actually like... I didn't get to be able to get to sleep until like 6 or something. So I was like just dead tired. For the most part. Opened some gifts. I got a lot of stuff from my bedroom. I have... I got new speakers for my new computer. Like... Like, they're good ones, not like just the regular Target ones or something, you know? I think they're like Bose or something. I'm not really good with brand names or whatnot. Alright, let me go ahead and grab you. I just want to see if there's any on the anything on these islands before we head on off into the next ones. Uh, let's see. So I got the Bose stuff. I got a bunch of candy as well, like, for a stocking stuffer. Um... I got the Ring Fit Adventure for the Wii, for the, not the Wii, for the Switch, which I'm very happy about because I definitely could use the exercise. I was actually considering if I do get myself a uh, capture card, maybe like if people want to see, you wouldn't be seeing me actually working at, you'd just see what my avatar is doing, but eh, that'd be an idea. Uh, let's see. I also got Pokemon Shield. I plan to play that eventually. It probably won't be on stream either. Did I get Fire Emblem Three Houses? No, I... I never really... I'm not huge on Fire Emblem. I'm more of, like, just casual at best with, with it. Also, it looks like this is unexplored waters here. There might be a boss kind of, like, underwater. So, alley -oop. Whoa! Creepy! <laughs> I still can't do Little Misfortune, but that... It is creepy as hell here. Alright, this is just gold, right? Yeah. 
I got it, but yeah, I mostly got a lot of stuff for my bed. And, oh, and uh, alcohol. Very good alcohol. All hail Dimitri, huh? I don't know who that is, sadly. King Dimitri. Aha, we got the rubies. We shall take them. Let me see, but yeah, I got Pokemon Shield, Ring Fit Adventure, those are like my, basically all my games. We also still got some, we have a Christmas party, uh, coming up tomorrow with the other side of my family. So, we have that to look forward to. Fire on three houses, okay. There is no boss here. Oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up, too. The only, the gold golem, I guess, was the only boss. Wait a second. What is that? That's a new enemy. I think you were wrong, SCP. We have an underwater battle time! I'm just gonna keep trying to attack. Everyone else is just stuck. <laughs> I was literally ready to go up to go up to the surface and be like, okay, we're done. Malroth won't attack though. Jeez, man. It's just me. Again, I'm just going nuts on this, man. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. Get a little bit of healing in. Not very good healing, but some healing. Yeah, they don't seem to be able to fight if it's in the air here. Let me grab an air hole pocket. Actually, I'd probably be better off using the golem. Because the golem can actually hit pretty hard. Well, I can't reach him right now. You're almost down. Gotcha! And we got a merman model. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I kept exploring now. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't know about him there, SCPs. No worries there. If there is a one, there is another. Well, I think we found all we can in this area, though. Let's take a look-see. You're faster than me in the water, so let's just do this. Alright, we have a little bit of southern sea to check out, I guess, and then we're going to head to another island. So we want to go, was it southeast? Yeah, southeast. All right, right around there. And it was about here. Again, this is just somewhere I, I know I haven't explored yet. That's why I'm checking it out. Check it out, y'all. Check it, check it out. Also, hey, free fish. Since I don't have the DLC, I don't have access to much fish. So, helps me out. Speaking of which, any news on the, uh, if you know any news on possibly getting more, not getting more, on more crossplay happening, that'd be great. Because that'll let me know, hey, that means it's time to grab the DLC. 
beneath the ocean, beneath the ocean. <laughs> If anyone knows that song, it's very, very, very specific, so good job. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's from a very old, well, from now a very old cartoon. No, I am sorry. Yeah, don't worry. For either count. Aha! We got another one. Looks like a different type. Let me go grab an air pocket again. And this time, I'm going to try to get the golem to settle down. Over here. Golem. I think you'll be stronger than me. And... Stronger and more rapid fire. Hmm. Yeah, he, he's definitely doing a better job. I have to tank, though, and that's the bad part. You're almost there. I'm gonna have to heal in a moment, though. Alright, enough of that. Gotcha. Okay. Gotta use my sword for this part. Get the attack power up, and let's do it. wonder if there's a third. There might be, but I might have already passed over it. I wasn't completely paying attention very well. And we get a disfigured throne from him. Huh. A Thanatos shield. Bombable Aegis adorned with the horn skull. It emits an ominous aura. Wow, we can make a cursed shield. Nice! But yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to find a third because I've already explored everywhere and I probably missed the one other one. I feel like that's where we've been. Yeah, I'm gonna just say... That's all we're going to be doing then. It means we're probably going to miss out on some recipes though, but... I can't tell if they're the same ones or different ones here, you know? We can always come back and check again. But underwater travel sucks. Actually, I don't think I need to flounder around like that. I think I could just do this. Nothing happens. Oh, okay. Can't do that in the water. How about here? Landing point and the dock. You know, there was no explorer uh, kingdom crap stuff. Hmm. Okay, but we did a great job. We even got a golem out of it, and we got a couple of extra bosses. Yep, let's go. Well, good stuff to know, though. Uh, oh, yeah, and I was asking earlier, but since I don't think you were you had joined yet, SCP, would you be interested in seeing maybe like a Dragon Quest Builders 1 run? Not No creative thing, just literally going through the story. I was considering doing that maybe afterwards, like at some point in the time. doesn't have to be right away. Same with Dragon Quest Heroes, if doing that would be something kind of interesting to be watched even though I've beaten all of these before but all right gold golem and heading on out let me go check my inventory all right we still have room not bad hey yeah, a little snowman too but yeah all right good on that Let's see. I'm going to deposit things now. You, you, you. Keep those down. Alright. Let's go to the next new island. I just want to make sure I have inventory space and all, too. Alright. So we've been to Scary already. We've been to... We can't go to... We're not going to Buildertopia yet. Hey, Bleachy. You mean you never seen a Let's Play of these? Oh, okay. 
Well, maybe then, in time, I shall. We have Defiled Isle and Unholy Home left. <laughs> Hope you're doing all right, Bleachy. After you left the other night, um, I was able to beat beat the uh, Mafia Clops, even though it took a lot of going back and forth because way too many other enemies came at me. It dropped two eyeballs, too. Bumpkins! Oh, that's lovely. Oh, heart. Wow. How do they do that? I guess they... they that, that, if they did the way I'm thinking they did it, that's a lot of hard work. Unless they made a... Unless they made a... What do you call it? A blueprint of them just scattered around and then just took out the block. That's still a lot of hard work. Wow. But alright. New island. New adventure. And hopefully some new monsters, too. Maybe we'll get a stone golem to come back, too. Oh, hang on. I already got some checks. This will be for infinite bones and slime oil. Not too big of a deal, to be honest. Uh, Dolomite is not on the list. And none of this is. Okay, wait. Okay. Jumping on you. Definitely want to kill those guys still. I don't really care about the heal slimes. We've already got a friend that is one. Okay, uh, Saber Cub, Bomb Room, come here. Alright, what do we got? Ash? Oh, hey, that's from a reference from the Builders 1. Anything else? Do we need to get sand? We do not. There are diamonds here, apparently. Stupid bird. Hmm, a lot of island stuff going on. I hope there's not too much underwater. Ooh, that looks a bit like an abyss. I hate that. Ugh. To be honest, learning about the ocean in, like, my classes also kind of skeeved me out a little bit, too. Like, saying, and this is where things drop down suddenly that you don't want to be near. And in fact, it, a current could pull you under, and I'm like, oh my god, I hate this. I hate to everything about this. When I was learning it. Uh-oh. That's a hunger radius, right? Oh, cherry blossoms! Now we can make our own spa things now. Oh, which grassy earth? What's this? Septic shrub? <laughs> Jack septic shrub. <laughs> well, hello there! New enemies, so hey. I don't really need the iron. Let's take a look at our monster list here. We got those. We can't befriend those, even though we had a friend of them. We've got all commands except the basic one. You don't use the flute? Not right away. I eventually will. I do. I like to search around organically first, but when I run out of ideas, that's when I use it. Let's see. Who else could be our friend? A regular muddy hand can. We already have a couple of these zombies. Uh, I don't remember which ones. I know we have Corpse Corporal. Whoa, hello. Sorry, I hit a button by accident. My finger slipped. I think we just don't have the regular walking corpse. I can't remember. Uh, we got a heal slime. We don't have any hammer hoods, so that those would be nice to grab. We don't have any statues of any sort. Uh, we do have a Pawi Yowie. We do not have any robots. We do have the Metal Babble. Or Liquid Metal Slime, whatever you want to call it. We have a regular Golem and a Gold Golem, but we don't have a Stone Golem yet. 
We got the two sabers. And it looks like that's it. Okay. Let's go ahead and check this off. Yes, yes, yaha. Remember, in life, always yaha. Or, uh. Alright, that's just grass. I don't care about that. Another piece of dead stuff. I just heard something moan. <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh, that looks like something. A pong pong setia. I'll take you. Poisonous peat. Yay. Yo. <laughs> oh, hello. I don't really care right now, though. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. We can keep going. Little fire thing over here. Broken tent. Zanka. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why we're checking off a bonfire, but okay. Also, I didn't know I was supposed to look for crates, but apparently that's a thing to look for too. Very good. Oh, looks like we have big boss time over there. Colossal Crag. It only gives you stone, so it's not a big deal. We're basically finding a lot all in a row here. So what about the Ark monsters? I don't think we can befriend them. At least it didn't show up on the list. Flag does not check mark. All right, eat this and that. Let's do this. I wish I had the golem with me, but we have travel monsters and we have uh, Malroth. Eduardo. Ooh, ouchies! That hurt. I mean, have I found them? Uh, I found an arc demon once. Ouchies! What'd you do? Ow. It's gotta be fast. I mean, the story friends? Oh, I have not found any of those. I only literally just started, and I've just been exploring first. Damn, I was trying to outrun him. Okay, so you can't really dodge this guy very well. Also, some people are down. You heard us in the last update. Oh boy, my friends are almost down, but he's almost down too. Don't worry, we're gonna get you to safety soon. Make sure I'm not down. Ugh. I think all we got left is my bird friend. And me. He's almost down. Come on. Whew. Yeah, he was a toughie. Yay. Sword of Ruin. Ooh, the curse gear, man. Hey, let me get, get you to safety, at least. You can't carry monsters. Bull fucking shit, then. 
Yeah, monsters are not good fighting companions for the most part, it seems. Hmm. I can't carry you. Sorry, Saber Cub. But I can at least carry Malroth over. We don't have any sleeping stuff, though. Yeah, I'm going to place them on the fire. That'll make them feel better. We have some new monsters over there to fight, too. But I'm going to wait till everyone's up and running. Oh, the Saber Cub is, at least. Hmm. Saber Cub is more like a distraction, if anything. I mostly use these two for traveling. You always bring beds. I might have one, but he's almost recovered now. I just hate searching my inventory because it's such a mess. <laughs> yeah, I do have some, but he's almost recovered now, so I'll know for next time. I'll, let me just, I'll pull it out for now. Hmm, got some new tiles over there and something gold in the distance, too. Looks like gold. That might be just a builder's, builder's best thing again. I mean, bed is free heals for you, too. Oh, that is true. I rarely use it, though. I rather... I was just breathing. Yeah, I know. I have a lot of food for use of healing, too. I'm just resting. All right, let's go ahead and get these new guys down. Because they're going to add to our stuff here. Oh, they dropped potatoes. Cool. You're almost down. Ah, uh, I became poisoned. Oh, well. Good. I really wish I could befriend any of those Draki-type monsters, but unfortunately none are befriendable. At least as far as I, I can tell. You know, I want to be curious about something, but I don't think I should. Eh, screw it. We're getting curious, damn it. We are going to... Take all the poison out, slowly but surely. Hmm. Yep. Alright, we're, we're making progress. You almost got him. There you go. Hmm. We did it before in Moonbrook. I was hoping we could do it here, too. But yeah, like I was saying, I have a lot of food for my healing already that I just kind of want to use it up. Oh, hey! Diamonds! I'm glad I did this. Or oh, Calcum! Oh, even better! That'll help us build the next, uh, sword. Got another one. Wow, th honestly, that was just... This was just, like, random curiosity I was doing this. I wasn't even expecting, like, getting free stuff around here. Alright, uh... Let's see. I think I'm getting some of it. I mean, right now I'm just taking minor damage, so I'm not really worried. Okay, got you. And this is where we get all those vile vine stuff. I want to check it up. Tainted tree. I wonder if I could just, like, hurt villagers just by pouring a bunch of poison on them. Uh, you gotta love video game cruelty, huh? 
to an extent. Alright, I think that's all the orichalcum I'll be getting, huh? I really want it. Oh, hey! That's a start. You gotta find the high points, and that'll let you slowly stop some of the poison. Some of the flow of water or whatever. Here. Let's see. No. The higher the point, the more likely you're gonna stop it, is what I've noticed. But it has to reach still, too. I mean, I guess I could also build into it, too. Let's try something, actually. Once you're sopping into it, there you go. I'm not really caring about the witch grass, whatever it's called. Any other... Oh, I got plenty of stuff that I have way too much of that I could just kind of waste, so let's go for that. I'm mostly trying to find more of the dolomite, by the way. Or not dolomite, damn it, uh, or calcum. I'm wasting the dolomite. <laughs> well, I think that'll be all we do for inside here, because uh, I'm not making the progress I was thinking I would be making. I'd have to do way too much work just to get rid of all this, so I'm not going to try that over and over. I could always do that off-stream, I guess. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the red tile here. And that weird thing up there. Alright, we got the bloodstone. Speaking of which, let's just straight up delete some of this. We have way too much. Same with chalk. Even though you could use chalk for stuff now, I... I don't need this much chalk, and I can always get more. Especially chunky chalk. And now the chert, too. There you go. Let's grab a little bit, and then find out what that gelatinous thing is. Got a little bit of bloodstone. Oh, a she-slime spawn! That looks really creepy. Creepy as fuck, oh my god. Alright, we got... A bow and arrow, dude. Oh, what's that over there? Builder's best? And a... Is that a princess? I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Haha, oh, another fan. It seems as if everyone in the world is queuing up to meet Renee, the finest thing in the world. And it's only right that I share that gift. If I wanted to perform for you, I would gladly go to wherever you wherever it is you live. How about it? Nah. Really? You regret this decision? Mark my words. I don't think we really need a princess bitch there. We already have Lulu for that. Let's see, um... Got one right here. I also gotta find a toadstool and blue dye. And the ashy, uh... Vines. Bring me on up. Gotta find a spot where I can just kinda... There we go. Infernal Ivy. Infinite Oil now. Don't tell that to the gas companies. They'll be totally pissed off. Then they can't charge an arm and a leg for everything. Okay, so... I think about now is when I'll... start using my flute. 
I just wanted to, I wanted to explore around on my own first before I did. Got heal slimes, got that dude. I'm gonna use you now because I'm tired. I feel like my running is slightly faster, but this is more reliable. Oh my god, look at all those. That is so creepy. Camera. Thank you. Again, right now we're just mostly exploring, but... We will use the flute in a moment. I'm hoping for bosses, really. Because that always gives you, like, a new recipe, it seems. Or a nice drop. I think I see one in the distance there. Oh, shit, it's a Metal King. Hmm. All right. I think the best bet here will be the Poison Needle, which did not come with me. Fuck. I could have sworn I grabbed it, too. We only have the Dragon's Bane and Iron Broadsword. I think then the Falcon Blade's the next best. Let's go ahead and deposit some things. I must have dropped it or deposited it when before I went into uh, Malhalla. All right. We did what we can here. Hopefully it doesn't just run away on us and that's it. Oh, no, you don't. This is why I have to be... Oh, God, the water. The water is going to be an issue. Go, Saber Cub, go! Ah, go! I'm pretty fast on my own, too. Uh, the water's where I'm going to be in danger here, though. Saber Cub, Saber Cub, I need you. Okay, edge of the water. Come on. You are definitely the faster one for me. Don't do it. Gotcha! And the experience, and a crown. You would trap him. Yeah, I, I, I should have did that before I even struck him, though. It's hard to keep building around him. But we got him. Level 36. New recipe. Spiked armor. Ooh. Reflects 80% of the damage taken back towards enemies. Good. That's pretty damn useful. And a Metal Slime's Crown. Can I wear that? No, I could just place it. Okay. Alright, so I did that the hard way, but awesome. We did the thing, guys. We did it. Better than the best. Okay. Oh, and there's the frog stool. We just have a rock pile... We just have the rock pile and a type of flower and some sort of precious gemstone, it looks like. Wait, really? I thought, could have sworn I was going the other way. 
But we're going to explore the unknown part of our map first before we use that flute. Uh, that's where we fought the ogre. What's up here? Not a, not a thing at all. All right, well, two bosses. We'll have to see if there's more. All right, that's deep water. And I think we're back to regular area where we already explored. Okay, time for the flute to do its magic. Up top, okay. It's gonna tell me, yep. All right, these are the paralyzing ones, if I remember right. Yep, tingleweeds. Oh, and a mage, too. And that one's down. Probably gonna learn how to do anti-paralysis, right? Tingle tablet, yep. Very far away, so I guess that's underground. Let's just go grab these and then fight those mages because we apparently never have. Oh, I can switch swords now. Yeah, that's definitely more damage overall. Yaw. <laughs> the noises they make. Ew, why do you have manky meat? Ugh. Meat from a mage? Ugh. Alright, they're just gonna endlessly respawn, so we're just gonna ignore them. But it said far away. We'll try about here. It is meat. <laughs> no thanks. Aha! And that'll do that almost. Oh no, we also have the precious gem still. Maybe it's in the bloodstones. said somewhere nearby, right? Or is it very far away still? I couldn't tell. Oh! Magnetite vein. I didn't notice them. Infinite bones. Because we need that. Nice! Let me go ahead and beat that. Oh yeah. That's much better. I don't know what magnetites are used yet for, but I got them. Alright, looks like it's dried up here. Let's see if we could find at least one more, because I want to make sure I have a bunch of them in case they're, you know, going to be used for a lot. They were really hard to notice, though. Well, this is where the chimeras are just so amazing. <laughs> I love doing that. Just kind of, like, piss them off a little, like, haha. How about there? Nope, it's just a slick of, uh... Of poison. 
I was gonna call it an oil slick, and I was like, wait. All right, well, this is the last piece of of the island we have not explored. So after this, if we don't see another boss monster, we'll head to the next one. I was expecting to get a little more creative, to be honest, but instead we ended up being more exploring. But you know what? That's okay. Uh, looks like, yeah, we basically found everything, except for the mountains. I'm going to go a little further, then I'll check out those mountains, and then we'll go from there. Because I could see enemies being on top of mountains, and it totally fits, anyway. Never know what bosses could be hiding. We got the Metal King slime killed, and we got the Ogre killed. I don't think there's going to be much over this way anyway. I do like seeing all that destruction over there. Wow. You see all the blocks. <laughs> I'm looking over on the side just to see in case there's more of those, uh... I don't remember what they're called, but the little black things that are in my inventory. You know what? If we're just gonna do straight traveling, may as well go with the speeder. The speeder. The speedster. Alright. And, okay, that's good. Now, right over here. A little bit of water. Okay, time to get to those mountains. Come on, uh... You know, I don't remember... This is Hocus, that's what it was. We want to go directly south. Wait for it, and... There you go. All right, this is the way to find out if there's any more bosses left here. Doesn't look like it though. Oh, Palani, how you doing? And thank you for the cheer. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get a dancing pig because this is on the PlayStation 4, but you could just imagine it's there. We're just looking around to see if there's any more enemies before we go ahead and check out another island. I could start getting creative instead, though. Two pennies, yay! Hey, you know what? Two pennies, they make sense. But, alright. Yep, we explored all what we can here. Let's go ahead, get to the dock. <laughs> that makes sense. That was worth it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Opalani, we beat the main storyline, so unfortunately there's going to be less dialogue ch and chat, so less voice acting from me. But we get to be creative. I do want to ask for anyone that is lurking out there or even just, you know, still chatting with us, would you rather see me explore more islands or go ahead and just start making stuff, make my island more? Because <laughs> I'm fine with either. Besides, I wouldn't mind organizing. Oh, lol, it's fine. You keep your YouTube chill hop on while you lurk and cook. I get you. I just want to give you my numbers. I don't even know this game. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Our gold golem's still trying to get back. Hmm. We have the tingleweed, too. King Slime, Crown, I don't know what we're doing with that. And a very, very full inventory. Hmm. A lot of things I want to do. I think... Oh, that's not Sonic. No, it's not. I don't have the DLC, so I can't change my... My, uh, hair. Yet. Apparently there's some free hairstyles, but right now I can't. Are you finished exploring? SCP, I was asking if, uh... I was asking if anyone's opinion is in case they want to see me explore more. But I kind of want to get creative, you know? Let's, like, get started on what we're 
what we meant to do, you know? But if people actually do want to see me explore the last island right now, I'll go back and do it right away. Also? Can I, how do I make it go up again? Oh, nice! And new music, too! This is the music that plays when you are in Dragon Quest VI on a flying bed, I think. Alright, we already been here. Now, if you ever wanted to play Sims on, I mean, they're on sale right now. No, I've never been into The Sims, and I'm sorry. We could have furnished me challenges, house tours. Sorry. I just never have been into them. My, that was my sister's game. That and poker games. It's okay. Yeah. We have a lot to be exploring here. You almost wish you hadn't caught the bug. <laughs> what if we go through the water? Hey, we get it splashed on our face. We have to explore our island all around it. This is much faster than using the Chimera. What some other players streaming it while they were on sale and you became obsessed. Gotcha. What about Fire Emblem Three Houses? I I can't see myself getting back into Fire Emblem. I don't I don't think I'll be able to get into it again. If I do, it's gonna be like a long time before I do. What's down here? Oh, a lot of kelp. Apparently you have more willpower than I do. Um, my backlog of games has gotten me to not want to make new ones, you know? Well, this is a little tour of my island, at least. Hmm. But Dimitri, is Ori on your backlog? No, it's not. What is this? Oh, there's that's my zombie buddies. Okay. Someday you're gonna release a sequel. Someday, maybe, possibly. Now, I have games that I haven't even touched yet. I'm, there's one thing that my friends actually have yelled at me about that I have never played Luigi's Mansion, for instance. I have the original on the GameCube and everything, and I just never opened the, bo the box. I think I might have taken off the shrink wrap, but I just never opened it. All right, we're gonna go to Furrowfield. And give it a nice little parking it right here. Oh no, I know. That's why I'm kind of like, not Luigi. That's kind of why I'm just like, I have way too many games I need to get through. Poor little Italian plumber. I love I love Luigi. He's awesome. Mm. All right. So we got ourselves the farmer's bunkhouse. We got all that. Now we have to think about what we want to be building here. What else we want to be building here? I think the first thing on this is we want to get the tablet targets all up up and running. Back to your lurking. Okie dokes. But let's go see what we got. Alright, so Furrowfield Farms' tablet targets are actually really done. So that's actually good. So we should make a nice celebration out of this by redesigning the way that it's taken care of. It means we're going to need a lot of smashing though, so I should go grab one of the golems. Let's see... I also do need to rename one of them, too. I think he went to here. What was the name that you guys gave him? Goliath, I think? I'm going to scroll up in my chat real quick on my computer. Give me one quick second. Let's see. Um, screaming in binary... Fabio, Fabio, that was the name. Okay. You place terraform tiles on the ground, be turning area into desert. 
Hard target. When we do battle, me draw enemy attention. Aw, good. So yeah, he is the super tank. We have Fabio, the gold golem. I hope you all enjoy him. All right, Fabio. We also have a great saber cat. I already have a name for him. We already have Bomberum, the saber cub. And this one's going to be the Japanese version of the same name, Barango. Both names are for the Dragon Quest V Saber Tiger. Eventually you guys will know what that is if you haven't played it because I do plan to play Dragon Quest V sometime. I don't have any immediate plans though yet. We got Barango. Who else do we have? Anyone that needs a name? Doesn't look like it. Awesome. Oh, wait. Pfft. I meant to uh, grab one of the golems, too. Jeez. Here, uh... Oh, you do the same thing, huh? My party's full. I can only have... Oh. I can only have a total of four. I was thinking, like, I could have three party mates. But, no, that was when Malroth automatically tagged along. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and remove Balmrum from the party, then. All right, Smash, you're with me. Zanku. We're going to do some remodeling. First thing we're going to do... Get rid of this awful, ugly bridge. Hmm. I didn't mean to break all that, but that's okay. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Not ideal, but it's okay. He's a little clumsy on his smashing. There you go. Uh, can I do this without smashing the bridge? Not bad. Okay. We're good. We did the thing. Thank you. Now, what? how should we design it? That's the question. Well, I think the way I'm going to do that is with whatever I have a way too much of and nice mixing and matching. Because, <laughs> uh, you don't really get a chance to use the natural turfs much. I'm usually using, like, the really special turfs or what have you. Eventually, I gotta get working on these this the pyramid area too. Also, I could drop off the manky meat and such too. But uh, no, 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 I'm getting off track here. Let's go ahead and put all of you away. I like to keep the food out. Now, what turf would look good here? I know we also have a lot of arid earth already around here, so maybe we won't do arid earth. Slitstone? Hmm. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. We're going to do some special and some not special. So let's go grab... Yeah, we'll take out the gold bricks here. Oops. Made it look like I was underwater. The camera got wet. I probably could make my new hammer now, too, actually. My plan is this. We're going to have a nice gold frame for the... For, uh... For this here. I can't talk. We're just going to go ahead and do that. And then around it is going to be where we change everything. So let's go ahead and make it nice and even. Let's see. Right there. Hmm. Can I do it this way? Okay. That kind of works. And then we just gotta... <laughs> the music, jeez. Decide to just come in hard. 
Uh, I think I need to do it this way, too. Hmm, let me see if I could angle this just right. Because it's done, this is a good way to signify, hey, you're done. There we go. So we got the gold, like, right there. Um, here. Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna need to angle you just right. Perfect. Awesome. I'll do the fine tuning myself. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, let's see, about here. Yes. We're basically gonna make this like a pedestal, I think. Oh my god, camera. That was bad camera, bad, don't do that. Uh, let's see now. I gotta make something real quick to reach the other part. There you go. That kind of looks like a nice frame. I mean, I'm gonna even out the other side too, but... Oh god. Yeah. I only realized it after I started doing it. I'm like, fuck. But I'm thinking we're going to make a nice ramp up there. So in that case, why don't we just do... Yeah, we'll just do it a nice simple ramp and we'll change the colors if we have to later. So. Uh, I am going to get rid of the golem now because the golem's getting on my nerves following me like that close. Thank you for your help, sir. So, what we're gonna do here is build a nice... Build it all the way up, but we're gonna make a staircase. Bring me on up. A little bit up again, like that, and then it'll go down, down like a merry-go-round. I don't know if I need that like that just yet, but it's going to go kind of like this. Now. And then there. And now I'm going to fix the sides. I'm putting that there and then I'll get rid of them. Hmm. Maybe I should expand it out, actually. I'm looking at it and I'm like, huh. No, 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 no. Nice try. <laughs> Make it fit, you know? Sometimes it's easier to go ahead and just break everything before you uh, make it anyway. And then the Coupe de Grace here. I'm gonna try making this into... Huh. I kinda wanted to slant. I want to do a slant. Hmm. I was hoping to make it a slant instead. It's like I... I, I remember being able to do it before. 
Make sure there's bricks in all underneath all of them. But you changed the design too. Okay. Fix that. Why won't it slant anymore? What the? I could have sworn we were able to make it slant over on the other side. Why can't we do it here? Is there like a specific special trick for it? Maybe those that have are experienced with the game know how this can be done. But I can't seem to get it to slant. Hmm. Hey, Tina. Maybe you know. Do you know how to make these slant? Because I'm only getting... half chips here. I want to make a nice little pathway up, but I don't think it's going to work. I'm using the chisel right, aren't I? Hmm. Let me go check my info here. Maybe that'll give me a hint. Change the shape now does not give me much of a hint. I'll show you guys what I mean in a moment. Let's go over to where Moonbrook was getting settled. Press and hold the tool to change the tool change button and you can change the mode of the chisel. Flat chisel. Ah! Concave. Thank you. But yeah, this is what I made before. And that's what I was trying to emulate. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tina. I needed that. It's going to drive me nuts, I got to tell you that. Ugh. Okay. Actually... Let's do it. We're not going to make them all like that. We're going to just do the first three up. Like this. Hmm, does that look too steep? Let's see. It's hard to... I don't know. What do you guys think? Mm, I kind of feel like it's a little... Eh. Let's try this. I got an idea. No, that doesn't really work. I mean, I like the little walk up, but it feels like it's a, so steep. Maybe I got an idea. What if I extend this out a little bit? And do something like this. I mean, the pathway, I think, idea was okay. We might be better off with just stairs instead, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think we were better off with stairs. This this is not... It's not doing it. I'm, I had a different vision in mind. I mean, even if I changed, like, the colors on the sides or something, I feel like it's still not enough. I'm a little sad about that, too, because we were trying our best to get this to work, too. That's a shame. I mean, we're not even making anything spectacular here. I just wanted to make this nice and neat, you know?
Hey, hey. There we go. And place that down and place that down. I accidentally chiseled underneath a little bit too. Alright, let's go ahead and just grab some uh, stairs. I know I have a, a bunch. A uh, green one wouldn't be good. We'll go with stone. Again, I'm a little disappointed in how that worked out, though. Hmm. Actually, this is where it might work out okay. I'm going to make this one... Yeah, it's the flat chisel. Alright, that's okay. Little decorations near the side would probably work too. Let's see. Uh, for, the, for the moment... I'm probably going to destroy everything around this, by the way. So don't really count on it, but at the moment I'm just going to go ahead and uh, flat, make a nice little level area here. Do we have any small decorations I could probably put on there? Because that would probably work out too. I guess I have coral. <laughs> eh, coral seems like kind of like unnecessary though. Eh, well, that'll be, have to be something... Oh, wait! Light boxes! That actually be, might be nice. Like, maybe a little bit of each color or something. Oh, and definitely torches, too. Or lights. We'll go with the usual sconces. Gotta put them, like, say, about... There. And there. You know what? That's a good start. I don't really need to go too overboard with this, I guess. All right, so you know what? Let's not let's not go too overboard with that. That does look a little weird, though. Mm. There we go. I feel better about that. All right, so not the best, but it's something. Now, what else could we? Oh. Mm. Let me, uh, fix the leak. <laughs> yeah, we were smashing things when we probably should have, uh, been a little more careful here. This is my rainbow pool. I am going to try to expand this pool at some point, though. Actually, yeah, you know what? That is a thought here. Let's come on up. Yeah, you're still a little too slow, huh? I like our farmlands, though. The farms look great there. That was probably my favorite project, is moving all the farms and putting them in a nice little row with water already on them. That definitely was really fun. Alright. No, 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 no. I, almost, I accidentally <laughs> uh, let go there. That's what I wanted to do. So this is my little rainbow waterfall. Let's go ahead and Yeah, I know, I know. We're going to go ahead and pour the poison on one side now. There we go. Eventually we'll get seawater too. And maybe steam. Right, I gotta find a way to get out of this without <laughs> hurting myself here. Can I? Okay, yes, I can. <laughs> Alright. So there's our little rainbow pool. That It'll be more rainbow soon. We gotta upgrade my uh, my pot. 
Oh, speaking of upgrades. Let's go ahead. Uh, or I don't need to do that one. I have to use this one. I only have two Ori Calcum. I needed one more. Damn it! I thought I need. I thought I would have enough. All right, so we can't upgrade that. Hella's hammer. Oh, that would've been really good for uh, Malroth. Sort of ruin for the evil stuff. If I, you know, if I feel like being cursed or something. Spiked armor also needs Ori Calcum. We're gonna need a lot of Ori Calcum. All right, off stream I will have to go hunting them down. But for now, we're not going to worry about it. We also got the hero shield and all this fun stuff here. I really wish the townspeople could wear shields, but I don't think they can. I do like our little garden here. Ugh, anyway, I'm getting distracted already. So I, we need to make some rooms and such too. And I do want to work on the, the like personal rooms, but maybe that's not a good idea to do just yet. We should get more general purpose stuff. I don't know what other general purpose stuff I could do for Furrowfield area though, so we're gonna go over to the castle and make ourselves a training room at least. Yeah, see I kinda like how this sorta came out. I'm gonna change some things up, but it works at least. Here we got some fresh water there. Let me go ahead and get fresh water. There you go. Hey, what's up? Go away. Alright, anyway. Yeah, we don't have any rooms here yet. Other than, um... Our nun and her father have the rooms, that's it. We also never really finished the flooring too much, because I started getting a little overwhelmed. You know, before we do the first floor, I mean, the top floor here, we should probably worry about the bottom here. Oh, wow, they, they're they making food, pretty good food over there. All right, what do we want to do with these rooms? Like, this looks like just personal bedrooms and such, or maybe, like, where you rest the dead, but, eh. All right, I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to make this the training room, which we have the blueprint from Moonbrook. Let's see, dormitories, done-up dormitories, rustic bathroom. We can't make a mushroom cook room because we don't have any funguses yet. Gory grill house. I guess I could make that, but do I really want that for here? Hmm. We already made a dining room, so no, no, no we won't do that. Well-stocked bar. Toilets. The different types of toilets we got. Barn, armory, and smithy. An armory would work for... It makes sense for a castle. Smithy's going to be over in the... In the... What do you call it? In the desert area. Relaxation room. Oh, yeah. For people to get massages and such. <laughs> a pumping station. A sweaty place for bodybuilding and buffing up. Nah. War room, wizard's workshop, training room. That's what I wanted to do. So we need four dummies, two ornamental spears, and four wooden fortifications. Let's see what I have already in my inventory. I'm pretty sure I have at least the spears. Let's see. Yeah, I got those. Uh, let's see. I do not have the training ones, though, so... Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to run. Okay. Let's take a look-see here. I can make the Naughty Nightlight now. Can't make the King Slime thing yet. I'm looking for anything I have to unlock, too. Yeah, that's all good. Oh. Yep, go ahead and spend it all. I don't really need those, but they're there. Again, I'm just unlocking them for the sake of unlocking. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I definitely want these ones because I love the color green. 
And they're flamboyant, so for anyone that likes flamboyant, I can actually make something, well, to their taste. I'm gonna have to try to, like... I might off-stream make a bunch of rooms for people that share the same general uh, interests. And have them, like, kind of be roommates. Ooh, a blue fortress wall. Those are nice. I could also make myself a green castle, too. <laughs> we have a lot of fun stuff here. <laughs> yeah, let's all unlock all this ghetto and get on with it. What the hell? Eye wall? Oh, that's creepy. A stranded unsettling eyeball based block. <laughs> yeah, that's creepy. Let me unlock it. <laughs> I do like the handrails. Oh, jeez. I wasn't expecting that. All this. Sorry, I really thought like we were basically done. I was like, okay, now we're good. Nope. <laughs> Alright, we'll unlock it all and then... As much as we can, I mean, anyway. And then we'll get to getting that, uh, that training area done. This is where all our soldiers are for the most part, so. Hmm. You know, there's another question. Where should Malroth live? Like, Lulu decided she wants the castle place. But what about Malroth? What would he want? I mean, the castle kind of makes sense for him, too. But, I don't know. Ooh, furnace. Yeah, I like that better than the other... Crafting, uh, I mean, the other general thing. We have a color wheel, a tree stump. That's from the way back. To give you a nice way back reference. Because you still have to work at stumps in the original. But yeah, we'll unlock all of these. And maybe we'll make appropriate rooms for them, too. Maybe when someone has all the uh, information for it and wants to tell me what they are. Mostly so I don't have to keep looking them up and be like, people getting bored of watching. Though I could do it off-stream, too. I just kind of want to leave some things for on-stream, too. Like, exploring the new island, I will be doing on-stream, only because it's new. Once I've done it, though, I'll explore old islands on my own time, for instance. She... Sheen salts, huh? You can make more interesting things with the tree stump in this game. Well, that's good. Banishes curses. Oh, so when I make my curse gear... <laughs> that makes sense. Oh god, more. A fan light. Door top decoration. Hmm. I don't know when I'm going to be using those, but okay. I guess those are like toppers for your castles and whatever. Ooh, I like that. I even stole a couple of those. Alright, got you. We already stole quite a few of these on our own, but maybe I'll make a little citadel area in... In, uh, what do you call it? Somewhere closer to the boat, the docks. Fish dish. Nice. I think I can actually make that now, too, because I have some fish on the side. Yes! Yes, I can. Oh, you can make it with fish sticks. That works, too. Cool. Now we have a new, uh, item for putting on our tables. Salutation station? Station? Excuse me. All right. We do have more. Whoa, what, what was that? Oh, I, I totally missed that. I was clicking a little too fast. Heliportal. Huh. I don't think they'll work as I think. They're just literally decoration, so. Ooh, I see something that I do want to include in this castle. A nice ward of Erdrich. It's a, it's a seal, basically, but yeah. From drawing near prevent monsters from spawning when play oh even better I was I only think of decoration I thought that would be good for it but an emblematic cloak 
build rooms that match your residents tastes so you know what? we'll pick like five people pick five people to have the perfect rooms for then ooh a slimy eye you could use that for uh, making a slime I guess and it's the slimy mouth <laughs> Aww. I like that that might be a mural <laughs> for me here or a wall mural I mean the floor mural excuse me I already lost track of what I was doing. Jeez. Okay, anyway, let's see. Not here. It's probably under furniture, then. We need dummies. There they are. Uh, I think we only need three. Also, before I go any further here, let me go ahead and uh, dump my inventory of main useless stuff here. Also, they're just, if you're hearing something, it's, they're my family's telling me dinner is ready. I'm going to give this a little bit longer, though, and then I'll join them. Okay, we made that, and now I just need to make the, the little cross things. I don't remember what they're called. Are they considered decor? They're big slabs of wood that are in an X format, and I don't remember what they look like. I don't remember what they're named, but I know that they exist and they are for the room. Hmm. Oh, I can also make my own mini marsh, marshy mountain for decor as well, so that's good. Decor. They're not a wall hanging. I'm also curious on what the hell I mi was the message I missed too. Did, am I just missing it or something? It, it's like the. <sighs> Let me look at the Builderpedia real quick. Training room needs those. Wooden fortifications. I need four wooden fortifications. I also need one more target dummy, but I need to make the wooden fortifications, and I, s I can't find find it at all. I would have sworn it wouldn't be. I didn't think it would be under blocks, for instance, but I was wrong. Of course not. I really didn't think it would be under blocks. That was my fault. And let's go make one more dummy. Okay. Oh, raining. Jeez. Alright, we'll make the training room kind of small, though, I think. Wait, where are the wooden fortifications? Did I already have wooden fortifications that I wasn't paying attention? Yes, I did. Great. Three and four. We'll put them up like this. And we'll just make this a nice small room just for them to train in. So let's go ahead and grab our building blocks. I, I, I like the idea of a training room. And just in case there's something that's even better than the training room, maybe you can expand it or you put it next to something and it makes it better or something. Actually, yeah, Tina, if you're still around, let me know if there's something else you could do with the training room. Like whether if you put a, another type of room next to it, it does something or maybe it will, maybe there's a better version. I'd be fine with knowing about either. But okay, let's go ahead and do this. And then I just need a door. Do I have any extra doors here? Also, I need to tell my sister I'm good. Do, 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 do. Okay, and let's take a look. See, where's the door? Simple door. I feel like the wooden doors are what we're gonna have to go with here. I need I need another one though. Um, yeah, I'll have to make it. 
Because simple doors don't really work for that. I also could dye these. Hmm. What color, though? Making extras just because. Let's go take a look at what colors I have available and see what colors are okay. Alright, we're training. There is no better version of the training room? Okay. I kind of like the blue door, but I don't think it matches. I guess white doors, then. We'll make two. The white and black probably fit very well. Hmm. It's gonna be uneven, but other than that, it's okay. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be uneven. Hmm. And then I'll put these over here. And we have a small training room. Very good. And we even get the music playing now, too. I'll probably build that upwards later, but for now, that's good at least. So, training room done. Yeah, everyone's training up already. What other old rooms do I want to actually add in here? A war room? Alright, a war room would make sense. Just, you know, to, to have it. Like, we already have our little bathroom here. Uh, war room doesn't need to be big, so we could put it right across from the food area here. Is there any extra versions of a war room or something you do with the war room that makes it better? Let me know about that, because otherwise... I'll just make it as usual. Let's see. We need a table. The war table. Emblematic table. We need those little two figurine dudes. I'm guessing those are d under decor, then. There they are. Oh! Small-scale slime, too? I might actually include that. There we go. Again, making it nice and cozy small, you know? I, it's basically what I had before, to be honest. In, oh god, camera, camera, camera. Let me, let me see. This is the issue with being small and cozy. Alright, door, you're coming last. <laughs> that was causing me issues. Hmm. That might be a little too cozy, huh? Yeah, that is. Alright, I don't want small rooms like this, so I'm just going to go ahead and destroy this. Right, those are way too small, especially with our limits here. Actually, I don't need to be... I didn't need to be smashing those ones, just needed these ones. Okay, we got that. Now, let's go ahead and start this fresh here. We'll put the war room... The war table right there. I need a map, too, I, before I put those things down. Uh, door can be right th Probably around there. I'm going to need to make a graveyard, too, at some point. But I'll probably need help on that. Let's see. Is that under decorations, too? Playing cards, stationery, small scale, map... Treasures and trapdoors. <laughs> I don't think that'll be a war room if I did that. <laughs> I probably could make a game room, but not in here. I think a game room would be best over at the pyramid. There you go. 
And we'll put some small scale soldiers here. There. And a nice slime right there. Alright, and we can start setting up the door now. Again, I'm going to not make it too big. Uh, hmm. No matter what, it's going to be uneven. Damn it. Actually, I might be able to get away now with the plain wooden doors. I'll just make those ones black, I think. Yeah, because that one's white. There you go. It's still going to be uneven, but at least it'll look nice. Small war room. Wait, what? Lots of different rooms. Oh, okay. Yep, crap out, crap out another mini metal for me, baby. <laughs> Thank you. One more tablet target for that new bottomless pit so I can grab more different types of water. Alright, and we're just gonna do... No, 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 not in there. We're gonna do that. Let me see, what kind of room is it? It's cool. Okay. What do I have that's also cool that I could be putting in this room that would be matching at least? Oh, those are cool. Good. I'll grab two of those. Oh, not that high up. That was my bad. Maybe we can make it fancy. <laughs> uh, I think... I think the spears make sense here. Are they considered cool? Yes, they are. I have so many of them, I may as well, you know? <laughs> and... Ornamental swords, probably too. Uh, don't need a lot of those. I'm basically, I'm just trying to get rid of some stuff I have. That's really what this is. It's like, okay, I have this, here you go. Actually... I'm also, I know my character's hungry. There we go. Put sword emblems there. I guess cloth sacks... Oh, those are natural. I was gonna say I guess them, but no, maybe not. Don't have room for monsters or stuffed animals. This is natural. Coral doesn't count as anything. I guess I could include fanciness. Your ornamental armor is... What about treasure chest? Normal. You know what? Yeah, we'll put these here. There we go, a little fancy. Uh, and I guess the floor I could change at some point too, because I don't think the flooring is considered cool. Probably not. But alright. We did it. We did that. We made it. We are awesome. I am going to now head on off, because um, I'm going to go eat some dinner. We made some decent progress here. I didn't make it. I didn't make as many buildings as I wanted, which is why I really wanted to go ahead and make the training room and the war room at least. Uh, so I'm glad we got that done at least. I'm off also tomorrow, but I don't think I'll have time for a day stream like this. It'll probably only be the night stream. So I'll either see you guys. I'll probably see some of you guys tonight and tomorrow night, most likely. I have a family party to deal with, so that's why that's happening anyway. But. I do appreciate all your help and everybody for lurking by. Thanks again. Tonight's going to probably be Ogre Battle 64, so look forward to that. And also, if you, if you want to join our Discord, exclamation mark Discord. In fact, let me do it. go ahead and do that right now for you guys. You can join it, and, you know, if you want to see what's going on or just chat, feel free to join it. There we go. Can't see it on the uh, PS4, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, have a good one and see you next time. See you, Tina. Bye-bye.